your guide to the Wild West. You are about to embark upon a journey through the majestic Canadian Rocky Mountains, along a route that would not be possible if it wasn't for Canada's first Prime Minister, Sir John A. Macdonald. He had a lot of dreams, but the one we're most interested in was his dream of having the entire country connected from coast to coast. There was one not so small problem, that aforementioned mountain range. Against all odds, six years ahead of schedule, no less. The final spike was hammered. <laughs> the final spike was hammered on November 7th, 1885. Burrowing through and around this mountain range was dangerous and grueling work. Thanks to these brave souls, however, your journey will be a little less grueling. But it is still the Rocky Mountains, and they're still located in the same place. So it's good to be a little prepared. Building this track, they came face to face with wildlife every day. If this happens to you, not to worry. The train will stop and wait for any critters to move when they're good and ready. The same goes for freight trains. You see, they're delivering important goods all across the country. And as towns rely on these goods to survive, the Rocky Mountaineer must give way until they pass. While we wait, the service from your delightful hosts will continue, and so will the entertainment. Another thing worth noting is that weather can change rather quickly up in the mountains. And although it's unlikely, if the weather change is ever extreme enough to impact the journey, no, you won't be riding out the storm like the good old days. You'll just continue the sightseeing adventure comfortably on a different track. Whatever happens, or doesn't, your Rocky Mountaineer hosts are more than prepared to make this experience truly magical. We can't wait to have you on board.